and welcome back to Visit File Coast. It's a sunny, it's a sunny afternoon and we are in Blackpool at the Holiday Inn. So we're going to have a look at progress at the extension to the tramway and the work to complete it and the work to complete the new Holiday Inn which is scheduled to be opening anytime soon. Sooner rather than later, seems a long time since we were standing here watching the demolition of Wilco. So make sure you've subscribed, make sure you've hit the bell for notifications and don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. Let's go see what we can see CT. I thought I'd start down here at the railway station. So this is Blackpool North where all your trains come in from your holidays and things and whatnot. And this is where the old underpass was that took you through into the top of Wilkinson's car park. Well, the bottom of Wilkinson's car park, but you know what I mean. And this is the hotel from this side. That's Talbot Road car park in the middle. This is the council offices. And this, of course, is Sainsbury's with its new real, newly replaced glass panels. And this is the car park for the for the station and the whole point of the tramway extension is to connect North Railway Station with the promenade tramway. So you'll be able to come out of the station, which is here, you'll be able to cross these new zebra crossings which the guys are busy painting as I as I speak to you. And you'll be able to go underneath this underpass. Oh that feels tacky. You'll be able to go underneath this underpass to catch your tram at the tram stop which is just down there. So underneath there is the new tram stop and you can just see the benches of the the tram station which is down at the bottom there. Right so then you go up the up the footpath up the footpath back up to the main road up here if you're wanting to go back out into Blackpool Town. So currently at the moment this is all still closed off. So this road is High Street I believe and this is currently closed off while the work is is being carried out to the um, exterior of the hotel and, and all the finishing off etc. And then you've got the the exterior surface of the hotel you can see all the beds there's no bed in yet but there's curtains up and then the front entrance which I have to say looks rather smart so there's a Marco Pierre White restaurant inside it which apparently is going to be um, proper food and not at a silly price so we'll have to see when it opens We'll take a walk round. We'll take a walk round here. It's a bit difficult at the minute because it's all because it's all closed off. It's um, hard hat heaven, as you can see. But before much longer, it will be operational. Here she is again, standing in the middle of the road. Look, but to be fair, to be fair, as the bus circles past, I am on a traffic island, so I'm perfectly safe. I'm perfectly safe when my husband watches this and says, "Are you trying to get killed?" So I presume that's the entrance into the into the restaurant, and this obviously is the entrance into the hotel, and the access to the tramway terminus is down at the um, underpass level at the bottom of the at the bottom of the hotel. So we've got the bus shelters in, the pavement's all finished. And it's all looking a lot tidier and neater. I don't know what you'll think. I think it's looking quite posh. I think while there's no traffic, we'll just bob over here and just have a little look through there, shall we? While there's no cars. And this is the view you'll get as you walk along Talbot Road. I'd say it looks much better. They've currently got the tramway a bit and stuff so obviously there aren't any trams running this is where the front door of Wilkinson's used to be just about just about right here if you remember 
and this is where the new tramway comes through and the stop is just underneath just underneath there at the back of all that cluster of black poles just at the back of there so you'll be able to catch your tram there from your train journey and then go down Talbot Road straight to the to the seafront and to the Fleetwood and, and um, South Shore Road and I think this bit is going to be a car park if I remember rightly the long term the long term intention was that there would be some shops down at this end I think that's a future development idea they might have kiboshed that um, but it's going to be a car park which will be will be necessary really for a, a big hotel like that and then that will start the regeneration and redevelopment of all this end of, of Blackpool that's another new bus stop another new bus shelter and there you go look down there just in that gap there you can see the other side of the underpass to the train station here's the tram stop and then you catch your tram in and trundle away to the bright lights of Blackpool. So we'll keep posted. We'll keep posted as we hear anything. As you can see, they get into the tidying up and putting everything away stage. This looks like a dumper truck either coming or going. I'm not sure which. But the pavement's all done. The, the fence is all done down this side. It's all starting to look a lot cleaner and a lot neater. So I hope you've enjoyed, hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to make sure that you're giving it a like if you have, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications and sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter and until next time we'll see you soon, bye for now.